about a year and a half, we are expecting to see a NASA-led crew make a return to the moon for the first time in 50 years. And for the past week, the crew has been practicing their return to Earth right off the coast of San Diego. Amari Fleming has the story. Day and night for the past week off the coast of San Diego, astronauts and their Artemis II recovery team have been training for what happens after their Orion space capsule splashes down off California's coast. Artemis II Commander Reed Wiseman dishing up high praise for San Diego service members involved. Everyone is there for a mission, they're there for a purpose, and they are there to help and assist, and they are ready to throw their lives on any problem to get the mission accomplished. Wiseman is part of the four-person crew who'll be the first in 50 years to travel around the moon. The explorers say while the Artemis project is about sustainably living and working on the moon, the ultimate goal is humans on Mars. It's about building on what we learned there and exploring even deeper. And that means going to Mars and answering some of those fundamental questions that we all have about ourselves. What does it mean to be human? Are we alone in the universe? How do we all get here? Three, two, one, boosters and ignition. After their 10 day, 685,000 mile journey around the moon, scheduled for next year, the Orion capsule forecast a splash down near Catalina Island in San Clemente. NASA provided this video of the Navy boats retrieving the astronauts from the test capsule out to sea during practice. The goal? To get the astronauts from the capsule, then helicopter them to get a medical check on board an amphibious transport ship like the San Diego within two hours. One of the practice runs showed a problem they overcame. For quite a while, we were under that rotor wash waiting for uh, a successful hookup. And, and you're just watching all the potential things that could go wrong. But then you watch all these sailors fall back on their training and how efficiently and accurately they start executing with precision. We're helping refine the techniques and procedures that the Navy will use to recover the Orion capsule when it splashes down in the ocean. This is the 11th capsule recovery test. NBC7 was granted exclusive access in December of 2022 to see preparations to recover an unmanned Orion capsule. When Orion takes flight next year, Pomona native Victor Glover will be living out his childhood dream as pilot of the Orion space capsule, giving his fellow astronauts a space eye view he and some of his fellow explorers have seen of America's finest city. When you're coming up the, to the west coast of the U.S., whether it's day or night, California is incredibly beautiful and all the mountains that you see out to the east of California. But what I love the most is coming up at night and you see Tijuana, you can see the border, you can see San Diego. We have a, a mission to explore the unknown in air and space, to innovate for the benefit of humanity and inspire the world through discovery. That was Omari Fleming reporting. Now, once the astronauts return from their moon mission, the Orion space capsule will be taken to Kennedy Space Center in Florida so that the data and parts of the capsule can be used for the next trip. NASA is targeting September of next year for the Artemis II crewed mission around the moon.